in on the uh, show. And this, um, this is, as I said, this is the Therapeutic Conversation Show. I'm your host, Dr. Brian Jones, LPC. And we are live here at the conference, enjoying the conference, enjoying what's going on. And the title of the conference is Speaking Out About Mental Health in the African-American Church and Community. So we are speaking out yes. of, of, and talking about mental health, and we're, we're so excited to just be a part, to be here. And Marla, yes. Dr. Marla, I'm so yes. excited. Super what do you think excited. about this conference? I, mean, I wish we could, and we're going to be showing amazing. some live scenes yes. from this conference. It just started, and people are, get, are gathering together. Yes. Over 400 people have registered. Already, already. And I am excited. We came last year, and we're just looking for even greater things. This yes, year. yes. It's time. It's time. We need to be talking yes. about Go ahead. Yes. mental health yes. in the black church, in yes. the black community. It's time. And that's what we are going to be doing. Yes. some of these, Dr. Marlowe, as I get stuff fed up, okay, just okay. go over some of the stuff that they're going to be talking about. So some of the topics that um, they're going to be talking about, you got various mental health professionals from different agencies. You've got Anchor Hospital here. You know, they're one of the premier sponsors. So Anchor Hospital, shout out to you. And you got Matters of the Heart Counseling Center. They are gold sponsor, Mental Health America of Georgia. NAMI, everybody's familiar yeah. with NAMI, and NAMI is that mental health agency that gets the word out and helps individuals who have mental illnesses. And you have um, Viewpoint Health, talking about the APEX program, something that I'm very familiar with, helping our children. So yeah. we're not just here for, uh, touching the adults, we are touching the children as well inside school so that wow. they can get the help, Ryan. Yeah. They need as well, because we got to start with our babies. Exactly. And you know, the state of New York now is mandating mental health in the schools. Oh, I read an article this week talking about that, and they said that they are now mandating wow. that mental health is done. In the, so we're doing this thing big. Yes. I mean, we're live, yes. Runaway Praise Radio. We are so excited. Dr. Marlowe yes. is with me, yes. and we are doing this thing yes. up. So we're going to try to interview some of the people as they're coming up, as they're coming in, Absolutely. just to be talking about this yes. awesome, yes. this is awesome. This is Over 400 amazing. people have registered, yes. and we're excited to hear from different people and to talk about different things. And we're just, I mean, this thing is going to be big. It's going to be big. It's oh, my goodness. Mental big. health in the church is time. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> we overdue. <laughs> We're having yeah. such a good time here. Yeah. So we're going to be interviewing some of the people, you know, as they're coming through, as they're talking. And, you know, and I just, you know, I mean, just think about it. Speaking out about mental health in the African-American church, who would have thought? Dr. Marlo, who would have thought some years ago that we would even be addressing this? It, it, it's a thought. It is such a, it is such a great need. Yes. Yeah. You know, yes, in the black community, yeah. we, we shied away from yeah. mental health, talking about mental illness, yeah. and it's taboo, there's yeah. stigma associated with it, and yeah. we are breaking that stigma. Yes, we are. We are breaking yes, we are. that stigma of mental health, yes, mental we are. illness, and we're talking about it. Yeah. More and more people are talking about it. Yeah. And so as this thing catches on, it catches on fire, we are going to Every community yes. in Georgia, yes. in Virginia, we are doing in it. DC, all internationally. Yes. It has to happen. And I'm yes. uh -huh. that more and more people are yeah. starting to talk about this. Thing. Yeah, and, and, and I think the more we talk about it, the more we can then silence that same. Exactly. Because it's all dealing with that, with that same that we have. Um, around those issues of yes, mental health. Yes. So we are really addressing it. Yes. Also, I want y'all to meet someone else. We have someone else here. Keep your head in. This is an associate of mine. Keep your head in. Yes, I just stand by. This is Ebony. She's an associate with us. And she has she set this table up. And we're doing it live, yes, I tell you. Yes. 
we doing it live. I'll tell you, all of these good, good things are going on. And so these are just some of the stuff. I'm going to be in a in a um, one of the presenters dealing with mental health in the church, the ministers only. So that's only ministers only. need to be in a workshop about mental health, right? About mental health in the church. We're going to be talking about mental health in the church and, and dealing with that from a biblical perspective, but as well as from a social perspective and talking about that and working through some of those things that ministers need to know they about. To know. And we're going to be addressing and answering questions okay. live here here at this conference. Yes, this, and as he said, we're going to interview several yes, people. Yes, we are. We're going to tell you what they're learning, why they are here. Yeah. And you'll feel the excitement here. This yeah. Is, they're ready. They're yeah. ready to make this thing happen. And what are their expectations, too? Because we want to know what they expect, and we, we want life changing to happen. Yes. People's lives yes. to be changed and touched. And, and, you know, this is where we are in our whole being and in, and in our whole world. So we really are reaching out. Please join in today. I see a couple people are on. Lakiva, nice to see you. You're on. Hello. Hi. And many other people. Send us a comment. Send us a message. What do you think about mental health in the church? I mean, this is why we're here. This is what we're talking about. And, you know, I'm so excited because <laughs> this is all I do. <laughs> this is all I do. <laughs> This is yeah. all I do is yeah. talk about mental health, and that's what we do on the Therapeutic Conversation Show. For the ones that are just joining us, thank you for joining us. This is the Therapeutic Conversation Show. I'm your host, Dr. Brian Jones, and I'm just so excited to be here. Yeah, this is good. Yes, good. yes. And, and our hope is that people leave here with something and don't just come to the conference, but they leave with something and they make something. Yes. You know, the Bible talks about us being whole, yes. whole human beings. Yes. If you're not dealing with that mental state, yes. then there's not that holy. Yeah. Deal with everything. So yeah. It's, it's and we, even, I mean, we have so many people here that are going to be doing uh, different things, different authors yes. dealing with mental health. I mean, I'm next door to a psychiatrist dealing with mental health and talking about mental health in the community. Yes. I mean, there's so many people here dealing with counseling practices are here um, talking and and dealing with mental health and addressing those things. And so we're just so excited to just be talking about these things and dealing with these things. And I mean, because those things are very vital for our community. I, we are really suffering because we do not have mental health education and training in the church. We are really suffering. And you're going to see more and more people out here, you know, coming to the church for mental health services, coming to the church for, you know, just to get the help and the support that they need. That's right. That's right. We're just saying no more. No, no more. more. There's no reason why people have to suffer no, in silence. No, no, no. There is so absolutely no, there's so many right. resources. There and there are also people that are trained like we are yes. in theology yes. as well as in mental health That's right. and license. Exactly. I mean, there's just no excuse. Just feel that experience. Yes. Psychologically, 
physically too. All of those types of things that disrupt us from living out the life that God has commanded and instructed us to live. That's what we're talking about. Oh, you can come and talk. You got to come and stand right here. We got a guest here. We have a guest here already. That so? What are you expecting from the live one away from the radio? And what are you expecting from this? Talk? Also, we're able to, to meet people that I could network with. Um, we able to get those who are in trouble. I found some church. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And we're able to hold, as I'm exposed, also to the building, connect the service in the, in the, in the new middle of that state. Wonderful. And what's your name? Valley Hill Baptist Church. Okay. Valley Hill. And Riverdale. We sit right in Well, hopefully at this conference, yeah, you will learn what to do. That's what we do. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Good. Going around and people Wonderful. Just understanding that, you know, listen to church. Yes. Uh, that's what we're going to help them. We're not addressing this right. And we're not helping them get the help. That they need. You're correct. That's the truth. Yes. Yes. Okay, Jesus. We believe that. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we now you're speaking our language. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your name. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna interview him. 
Okay, but, that's fine. but thank you for sharing. But, okay. the, but the importance of mental health is so important, and you gave your testimony. And you and your fear about your dopamine and your neurotransmitters still messed up. Oh, you better watch it. Okay. <laughs> I am saying I was going to still feel, but I still needed something, so I had to get something to go in the brain. All right, all right. All right. Thank you, Mom. All right, good. Thanks for the meeting. All right, come on over here, Pastor. All right. All right, all right. Real quick. Real quick. Thank you, Mama. We're live here. Now, this is a pastor friend of mine. Go ahead and tell the people who you are. All right. I'm at the First Christian Church of Atlanta in Tucker on the Lister Road. And he's one of the presenters here uh, today. So what are you going to be talking about? Uh, spirituality and psychology. Uh oh Integrating the principles of biblical and uh, psychological. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. you got to come down just a little bit. All right. I'm so sorry. Uh, I didn't yeah, they can't right. see you, though. You got to just come down a little oh, bit. Right I'm, there. I'm there. Right there. You'll come down. Uh-huh, because they got you up there right there. Okay. So, so you're going to be talking about, you know, psychology and spirituality, right? Yes. And how do they, and how do they try to get, give them a brief overview of your whole... Hey, sure. Well, I don't consider them to be uh, at war with each other. You're not going to understand where each one has its place. Uh, they're complementary. And, you know, someone's faith perspective can lead them to mental health issues yeah. if they're not careful. Exactly. But their faith can also undergird and improve their mental health issues. Exactly, yes. And the other way around. If you're still mentally healthy, mm -hmm. it helps make your spiritual life better. Yeah. We're about a lot of people in the Bible, Elijah, uh, the Gathering Demoniac, all kinds of examples of people whose mental health and spirituality didn't always line up. And, wow. Wow. Things like that. So. And and that's so important. So I'm just glad to hear. And we're going to get you on the show, too, uh, sure, you know, yeah. to talk about that, because I love your work and I love your spirit. Thank you, my friend. All right, be encouraged. And he's on the board, too, for the uh, mental health, I mean, the faith-based mental health initiative. Right. And so we are doing this thing big. Right. All okay. right. All right. Thank All right. you. I'm telling you, we're still wow. here live. And, I mean, we got people walking up, wow. people talking about yes. mental health, wow. people wow. addressing the different mental health situations that are going on. I mean, this is so much. This is, Marlo, this is exciting. This is exciting. I mean, the, the lady that just came up, I mean, she's a true example yes. of how people get stuck in that stigma. Yes. She understood that she was trapped, you know, in the mental illness and also with the substance abuse. But she also, and she hated God at that time. But she came back around and she understood that, you know what, I have a responsibility as well. You know, God is going to have those who have themselves. And so she tried a powerful testimony. Yes. But, you know, mind telling people she's on medication, you know, she yes. has to stabilize her symptoms as well as trusting in a holy God. Yes. So that was a great, great experience. Powerful, okay. powerful. Right here is all of powerful. Them. Getting clear that mental health is part of your spiritual development. Yes, that yes. you cannot you cannot function and hear God properly without having mental health. You can't. I mean, you you gotta have mental health in order yes. to even function and yes. to live and to be and to grow yes. and to do things. Right. You know, because I mean, I don't I don't know how people think that they can live yes. the lives, the highest good, their their prosperous life when their minds are not clear, yes. when their minds are not together, yes. you know. Yes. So we have another person watching. We're going to put them on the spot here. Watch yes. this. Which faith the line or one of eight great brothers? Do you want to say something about the conference? Yes. You feel comfortable? Come on over here. What brings you here? Yeah, what brings you here? So you got to stay behind us. Uh, this is live. My name is Reverend Jeff Pomeroy. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Brian Jones, Dr. Marlon Bassett. Now, that's a question for you. But All right. My job is to facilitate. Uh, the fatherhood panel and oh. dealing with the issues of uh, African American fathers, okay. yeah. being in the home, not yeah. being in the home, yeah. and all the things. Okay. Like that. All right. Um, I'm the, uh, one of the pastors here. And you may have to come down just a little bit so they can see you. Okay. Okay. Right there. I'm one of the pastors here who deals at the House of Hope. Uh -huh. the, uh, Dr. E. Dewey Smith. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, and I know this flag, and I'm also. A student at ITC. Oh, wonderful! And one of my classes that I'm really looking forward to moving forward in is uh, pastoral care. Oh, wonderful! And, uh, I see what you're 
do, and I'm oh, very interested you. in moving down that track. This is my 31st year. Oh, my ministry. goodness. Congratulations. I started when I was three. Oh All right now, he's, look, look he's, he started when he was three, y'all. Oh, I'm excited about what wow, you Wow, thank you. I'm so honored to have you guys here yeah. at the House of Hope because this is a vision of our pastor. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. We can tell the situation yes. we have, yes. the African-American community, yes. Yes. and the lack of resources we have in African-American church. Yeah. So to see you guys out here is a blessing. Thank I thank yes. God for you. Thank I'm you. Great.
but we definitely own it today. We are here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what do we do? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So we got to definitely end in a few minutes. Okay. So we got to end in a few minutes. But yes, we got to end in a few minutes. So we're going to go ahead and end. But we thank you for joining the Therapy of Conversation Show. I'm your host, Dr. Brian Jones, and we're going to catch you. We're going to be videotaping and live and everything like that. Okay. Thank you. now calls itself a province of the Islamic State of ISIS. But for all of them, the lead military effort against them in that Make it a home. John, again? What's wrong with you? We're late again. This is our final notice. I told you already. Stop putting into your drug habit and stop paying these bills. Come on now. Every time I come into this house, you always got something to say about them dang bills. I'm tired of it, and I'm tired of you. Cover me up. I don't fuck with what I've been through. Without him, would have been through. Through my trials, errors, successes, and failures, you never love us. I love you forever. Say it again now 